results and a comfortable win in the end? Well, the setting off helped. Um, I thought they were a lively side, you know, worked really, really hard, some quality players. Um, I thought we started the game okay, got on the front foot, scored, and then we sort of shot ourselves in the foot where we're not clicking clean sheets. Um, but credit the boys, I think once they send it off, it could have gone either way. But the second half, I thought we dominated the ball, we moved the ball well and, and scored at the right time. So delighted with the performance, you know, it's a, it's a big win on, on a Tuesday night. It's always important to win your home games um, and we've done that tonight. You were more clinical in the second half, weren't you, than what you were in the first half, for example. And there was a couple of one-on-ones in the first half that were that were wasted. But in the second half, the lads up front were a lot more clinical and took the chance as well. Yeah, I think that's a fair point. I think first half, um, we've had two great chances and from the one that we've we've missed um, they've went up the other end and scored you know so we've got to be a bit more ruthless I think that's been the story of our over the last few weeks you know you know the percentage of chances that we're, we're creating hasn't been great but like you say second half um, the first 15 minutes we put them to the sword and, 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 we, and we scored at the right times but I think the last 15 minutes was a little bit sloppy um, although we could have Mitchell could have scored at the end um, to, to, to cap off a good night but if you'd have asked me before the for the game to, to be working in 4-1 at home, um, I'd have snapped your hands off. It gives everybody a good boost as well ahead of Saturday, albeit you've said to me that the league is a priority, but it's it's good to go into a game with the magnitude of, that it is on Saturday with a, a good win behind you. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, you know, we, we've probably played better away at Grantham and played better against Buxton and, and come away with two points. Uh, um, so it was important we got on 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 the on the back on the on the winning road tonight, especially at home against a strong side. Um, so delighted with that, and like you say, we can move forward now to Saturday, where you know the lads have got nothing to lose, and we're, and we're all looking forward to it. And you also had the luxury when you were falling up of of making substitutions and giving players important minutes, and also resting one or two players as well. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's important that everybody gets a feel of the ball because on Saturday, you know, it'll probably be a different team, different setup than we play tonight. So everybody's in with a shout. Um, so it's important that they're going to field and, and, and experience some minutes. And the lads who've played a lot of football had an opportunity to have 20, 25 minutes at the end to, uh, to rest for Saturday. You brought in Adam Mitchell. Uh, what can Spaniel fans expect from him? Well, I think we, um, you know, the way we play, sometimes we're a bit narrow. I know we, we play very good football, but sometimes, you know, we haven't got the opportunity to, to really have good width, uh, which he gives us. You know, he can play in a number of positions. He can play wide on the right, right of a front three, or, or right back at, at a push. But um, he's got quality on the ball. We know that. We, we've experienced it against us many times. Very professional lad, and uh, you know, and, and once he leaves the professional of of, uh, of Darlington, I think. Spenny was a, a, a real good option for him because I think we do things right here. It's a well-run club. We've got good supporters, and uh, you know, and, and, and if if anybody does leave Darlington, it's for me, it's it's a, it's a great opportunity for players to, to come here, which is which is what he's done. Creates competition for places as well, doesn't it? Because uh, obviously now you've got to think about Saturday. Albeit you can name seven subs, but even so, seven subs are still crossing the fingers and wanting to get on the field. And rightly so, rightly so, you know, and today was a big game for players to cement their place in the squad. Um, and I think a lot of them have done that. But you don't write off the players who weren't in the squad today because, like I said, you know, Fish was out the squad last week and came back and scored a goal tonight. Unfortunately, he's done his hamstring, which is, a, you know, he's a doubt for Saturday. But, you know, hopefully after treatment, he should be OK. But we've got some really good players at the club um, who, who on Saturday deserve to be on the stage and deserve to, to, to showcase the talents of what they've got. And let's hope that just one of them can score the winning goal. Joe Tate says he's going to score a last minute penalty. Well, I hope that's either the equaliser. The chairman will probably be likely to be the equaliser. You know, I'd like it to be the winner, but I think Brad would really like the equaliser and bring him back here on Tuesday night.